Oh, beautiful summer, beautiful sunshine in my lovely hideout in France, the peace of it all, no noise, the occasional car going by far away, now, mostly little chirps of birds and noises that the squirrels make in the trees. I observe myself slowing down and calming down and coming back to the life of the body in its environment, in its simplest form. I reduce my diet from very rich to very simple, drinking water, one good glass of wine at night, eliminating bread, eating fruits, apricots, nectarines and vegetables, aubergine with tomato and cheese at night. And I can feel how it benefits my body. I shed a little bit of weight I've put on during the year. I feel much better inside of this physical envelope. My daily yoga exercises become far more pleasurable as the body is open to the air and the sunshine and gets its little bit of tan and kind of connects with me again. It's like being fully embodied again. Really it is like the vitality of youth all over again, even though this year I'll be 64. That feeling of belonging in your body and hugging it close and looking after it and enjoying what it can do for you. Going on a bicycle, cycling to the beach, jumping into the waves, running around, and as I said, doing, spending more time doing yoga, simple yoga, nothing acrobatic, vipassana yoga, you know, Salutations to the sun, that kind of thing, in a very gentle flow, opening everything up, reclaiming everything, coming back to basics, owning my presence in the world in a physical way once more, and enjoying it, enjoying my presence in the world, in the years remaining to me. Who knows how many years it still will be. I might get ill before I know it. it. Happens to us all. And so I'm prepared for that. I'm prepared to be enjoying these last moments of my life. Where I feel vital, where I feel alive, where I feel healthy, where I feel like my body is there to engage me in the world in a way that is beneficial not just to me but to those I meet and to the tasks on my road and that is what I really wanted to talk about how you sculpt your life over the years to be true to your body and to become better at spending time with it and making it flexible and making it work well and enjoying it. And you do that by being connected to the trees and to the birds and to the sky and to the sun. It's got to be real. It can't just be abstract in a gym. It's got to be connected. Your body's got to make that connection 
to its world and then it breathes freely because it's, it knows what it's for, it responds, the body is grateful, it enjoys it, it finds its flow, it finds its home ground again. And as I said, that's happening to me better now than ever before because I know my body better and I respect it and I'm grateful for all the healing it's done for me and all the you know amazing experiences it's allowed me it it's good at doing all these things and it serves me so well so I'm extremely deeply grateful to it and I treat it well in return we work together my body and I and of course that's exactly the way you do with other people too over the years you learn to get to know so many people and you learn to figure out what they want and what they're after and what they will do to you or what they might do to you if you let them and you learn to steer clear of those that upset you and that put you down or better still you gradually learn to stand up to that and show them the way what you never do is put them down in return because then you're just perseverating and pursuing the same wrong track and making that part of your life what you do with your body and what you do with other people is pretty much how you build your frame how you build your inner reality and so it's really important to build it well and respectfully because the more you treat other people well and the better your inner sense of ego your inner sense of steadiness in that public world of other people will become and so you keep refining it you keep finding more and more people that you can do that with who will be respectful and responsive and who will be truthful to you and give you the kind of feedback you need to hear who will let you know when you're taking advantage and who will push you back and who will invite you when you're too hesitant and will draw you forwards into being more open and more real and more connected to them but of course it's hard to find people like that in the beginning of your life you come across a lot of set up social schemes that are very off-putting the politics of life the society the culture it's difficult to maintain yourself you've got to learn to set yourself apart and not get taken over by all that you've got to dare stand by yourself and that is the third thing you need to do you know build a sense of personality and a sense of character that you can stand by and that you can respect yourself for and that is built slowly out of the way you treat your body and the way you treat other people and the way you treat yourself with due respect and do strength and do vulnerability at the right times so you do different things at different times and that's how it should be <laughs>